Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. For the past seven days, I have gotten my eyes open to another world. I haven't been alone in that experience. A number of our pastoral staff members and wives were, were with me as we concentrated our time, energy, and attention on a rather sizable group of ministers and their mates. What a privilege it was to, to be in a new scene and to talk to people who were all the way north, uh, far as north as uh, Canada and as far south as Jamaica and from most of the states in these great United States and to rub shoulders with some of the, some of the great uh, men in ministry. The, the authenticity and the joy were wonderful. We were from all varying personalities and temperaments, and yet our last time together, we arm in arm stood in that place and we sang, we are one in the bond of love. And we closed with the Lord's Prayer. As the conference came to a close and Cynthia and I winged our way home along with our other staff members that were there, uh, the Lord began to impress on me thoughts that, that I have not been able to ignore. They sort of kept me awake through the night thinking about speaking today to all of you. First, I thought of this. The enemy is, is hard at work. Uh, we may have turned a final corner entering these, this last decade of the century, but I'll tell you, uh, this is no time to, um, to slacken our efforts. If indeed the enemy is at work in secular places, I can assure you he is alive and well in the church. He is at work uh, assaulting and uh, uh, assassinating the uh, lives of men who were once strong in the pulpit. He is cutting the feet out from under individuals who were once effective and full of zeal and, and courageous songs and sermons. Uh, the enemy is hard at work. If he's done anything in this final decade, he has rolled up his sleeves and intensified his efforts, hopefully to discredit those who now have integrity. Second, I thought the pressure and the needs are enormous on people of all walks of life. Have you begun to notice that? Um, it's especially true of those who are engaged in some kind of spiritual leadership. You may be in music leadership, or you, you may be in teaching leadership, or you may be in missions or educational leadership. But if you are a Christian and you are influencing people for the cause and the good of Christ, you are under pressure. Perhaps like you've never known before. The enemy is hard at work. He's alive and well in the church. He's working to destroy the lives of Christians, particularly those in leadership. Today, more than ever, great leaders need to be people of integrity, discernment, humility, faithfulness, and accountability. God is looking for Christian leaders, free from fear of pleasing the crowd, who are willing to stand up for the truth without compromise. He has called you and I to take a stand as servant leaders in our own realms of influence, whatever that may be. God is searching our homes, churches, schools, and cities for those whose hearts are truly His and who love what He loves. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, A Time for Strong Resolve, was copyrighted in 1990 and this Lifetrack sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.